Hi developers, I'm Hossam Delahi, Microsoft MVP. In this video, we'll learn how to use the plugin FF Image Loading with Xamarin Forms applications. FF Image Loading is a cool plugin that makes it really easy to display GIF and SVG images from within your Xamarin Forms application. It also provides some other cool features like applying transformations on the images. Those transformations could be like uh, transformations for creating blurred images, rounded transformations, or also creating a grayscaled uh, transformation for images. This is the application that we want to build today, and let's start creating the code for this app. Let's take a look at the source code of this application right here in Visual Studio. So here I have created a new Xamarin Forms application, an empty project. Then what they have done is that they have installed the FF image loading library by going to my solution, manage nuget packages. Then here I'll go and look for FF image uh, loading. And from here I, I install the xamarin.ff image uh, loading.svg and all the other uh, dependencies for SVG for uh, forms. Once I have done that, now inside my main page .zaml, right here, I'll go and add the source code to use those features. So here I'm creating or I'm adding the uh, XML namespace for using the FF image loading namespaces along with the uh, namespace for the SVG for forms. Then from Within my code, right here, I have created a scroll view within a stack layout. And inside the stack layout, I have created the first image to display a cached uh, image. It will take that image from my solution right here. The source for, that, for this GIF image will be from my solution where here I do have a GIF uh, image. So I'll display that image from here. For that, I'm using this simple, this um, special syntax starting by resource and then the name of my project and then the name of my file. This is because I'm using images from my PCL project. But if you are using images from your Android project within your resources folder, then you just need to just uh, specify the name of that file and FF image loading will find it for you. Here, this a simple line of code will display our GIF image. It will be put inside a cached image so that we don't need to uh, re-download that image when we want to display it in another time later. Now, if we want to display an SVG image, here we use the SVG cached image. And from here, we specify the source for that file and Again, here it's in my uh, PCL project under the name svg.svg. So we use the same syntax for getting images from the PCL, which starts by resource, the name of our project right here, and then the name of the file. Now let's start um, applying some transformations. So what we saw until now is the displaying the GIF image and also the SVG. But what if I want to um, make a blurred transformation like this one right here. So I'll use the cached image. Then within that element, I'll add another element for cached image dot transformations. And from the transformations here, I have a full list of transformations. You can see right here, and I can choose one of those uh, transformations I want to apply on this image. Here I have chosen to apply the blur transformation and here it needs this parameter radius in order to get the value of uh, or the degree of the blurred effect. So that's for the blur transformation. Now let's move to the rounded transformation. The code for to applying this rounded transformation is this one right here. So we again we create a cached image. Then within the transformations element we create a rounded transformation right here and we give it this value radius which will act like the uh, radius for this image so if i specify um, 
uh, less value for that radius, then the image will be displayed as a rectangle with rounded corners. Now, our third transformation here is the grayscale. So, how can we make our colored image displayed in grayscale? So, again, we use the transformations. And here, one of the transformations is grayscale uh, transformation. So, simple syntax to make those effects from within your Xamarin Forms application from one place right here. So, as you see here, our GIF image is not animating. Um, and that's a little bit sad. We only display the image, well, not the uh, animation. But in order to create the um, animation, you can go to this project right here on uh, GitHub. And here you will find the code for animating your, um, your GIF image from this GIF image view project right here, which implements a custom render for animating the, pro the GIF image from Android, iOS, and Windows projects. So FF Image Loading is an open source project available on GitHub. So if you go to this page right here, you will find all the source code along with more richer samples than I showed you today. And you get here also all the list of the uh, transformations. Some other important uh, features you might want to use from FF image loading and might be interesting for you is that here we have some other uh, transformations like the color space, uh, circle transformation, uh, flip transformation, rotate, and so on. So we have a rich set of uh, transformations. Also, if your image doesn't load correctly, you can display a placeholder to tell your users uh, the image was not uh, successfully loaded. You get also some other uh, features for the fade in animation. Also retry image uh, downloads with the retry count and retry uh, delay. And of course the uh, caching for the images. So each image uh, you get or you, you display right here will be cached from within the library. If you want to take a look at the source code of this app that we built today right here, you can find it also on my GitHub account right here. If you go to this uh, project, then you will find here the source code for uh, those simple images. So I hope this video was helpful for you and thank you.